All right, so I haven't made myself any notes. I'd like to just talk about the one tool in Pixel Edit. Pixel Edit spelled P-Y-X-E-L Edit. So, somebody asked me, what's the point of the one tool in Pixel Edit? The answer, in short, is, well, two things, shortcut, W, or in. So, depending on where your fingers are, you press W, and you are on the proper layer for the wand tool. When you click it, just like it is in every other program, click it, it selects every adjacent pixel of the exact same color. Exact same color. No differences. So, all the different grays, you pick it, you feel pretty good about yourself. However, you turn off this contiguous button. Let's let's restrict it restrict it to tile for now. Now that it is no longer contiguous, it selects everything of the exact same color. Note that block. And let me control D. Very important. It deselects. It deselects in a lot of programs. Also, say hello to the kid. I. She really just wants a warm lap to sit in. That is neither here nor there. Anyway, to continue, click it. Every pixel of the exact same color will be selected when contiguous is off. If you do not restrict that to tile, it will select that color on every single layer you have. Note, every frame has that color. <clears throat> every frame that has that color is selected thusly. So what that means is if say you only wanted to draw over that color for shading purposes, for any other purposes, it acts as a it acts as a very quick mask so that if you wanted to shade this area very specifically, you could go in and do it by hand, you could go in and do it frame by frame, you could deselect that undo that, squeeze me, also deselect and on the subject of contiguous non-contiguous if you press F, the shortcut for fill or fill bucket or whatever ha whatever you uh, want to call it, you turn off restrict the tile, you turn off contiguous, instead of masking it if you just want to change the color of something, you can change the color of something just like that. Every tile that has that color will change that color. I turn off the other layer that was kind of ignoring this rule. Anywho, so contiguous up in this top right, right corner right here. Sorry, top left corner. Sweet Jeebus. And restrict the tile. In conjunction with those things, it really, really aids in um, it aids in selecting a color if you would like to just get rid of this <clears throat> to get rid of this red here's what you do w contiguous off restrict the tile off you don't want that you don't want that outline anymore select it control x for cut control d for deselect that color is gone now the other miracle of the wand tool is 2 to 3 fold so Oh no, I undid that. I can't redo it. I accidentally saved over my work and I reopened the file. Whatever the scenario may be, the other Miracle of the Wand tool, if you just click once, it'll select that color. If you double click, it will select every connected pixel that is not a, uh, a completely empty pixel. So you see this area out here that has the, the slashed lines. That means that it is completely transparent, it's completely unselectable, or not unselectable, it's, it's just completely transparent. If you W, ahem, W, there we go, and you double click, it'll select all the adjacent pixels that are connecting that are not transparent. Note that it did not pick this tile, or pixel, sorry. This specific pixel didn't get picked because it is not connected to these adjacent points right here. Make sense? Makes sense. 
Good. My mic is on and I am recording audio. <clears throat> anyway, pardon. It's brown juice. Don't worry about it. Anyway, deselect, control D, very important. I reselect. There is not a reselect in Pixel Edit that I know of. Typically, I would I would guess that it's Control R, but something like um, something like Photoshop would have reselect. If you undo, you can undo and redo. You can undo a selection or deselection. So, if you took the time to select all these like like I'm about to, and you accidentally undo it or uh, accidentally click off. You can undo that in selection selection stacks in the undo process. Either way, that's just a fun fact. Control D, deselect, start from a, we're starting from a, a, a blank slate. Turn off this outline layer. The only layer we're working on here is main rat. That's for something that I'm working on. I'll show you some animations at the end as a bonus because why the fuck not? So, I undid this thing that allowed me to do this outline. So the outline is gone. It's, let's say it's too far in the stack of undos to redo. And I wanted it back. The fast way to do it and the slow way to do it. Fast way would be contiguous off, restrict tile off, and select every color that you understand is a color that is shared across the, the board. Let's pretend that doesn't happen. And also, uh, when you're when you use the wand, again, shortcut W or shortcut M, click, you've selected the things of one tile. Shift click adds to your selection. So Alt click subtracts from your selection. This uh, this chunk of gray, hold shift press click, note that it selected this area. Shift click, adds, alt click, subtracts. It's a surprisingly common feature if you are, if you're not used to it or if you just, if you're get, just getting into any of these kinds of uh, editing softwares or pixel softwares or art softwares, even, even Photoshop has these features and it makes this whole process way easier to deal with. Continuing, shift click, alt click. It is universal when you're uh, using a selection tool of any kind. If you press S and you just have the selection rectangle and you hold alt and drag, note this box area that I just dragged. I can subtract that. Anything in a rectangle because you can only select in a rectangle here. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. You see that the undo stack took that away and you still have this pixel outline or uh, the dotted outline that's constantly moving and depending on your proclivities for for having uh, having disturbances with the uh, eyes or uh, optical illusions like I do it can be somewhat disheartening or um, distracting anyway moving on let's say I wanted to select everything here and all I wanted to do was double click. You can double click, you can shift double click. So I've already added the dark gray color you see here to my selection, but if I shift double click the same area, you'll see that it adds it anyway. If I alt click, it deselects that area, but uh, with contiguous off and restrict the tile off up in this left hand corner a shift double click will also add the color that you have selected the first click and everything attached to it anyway that is just a that, that's a quirk of the tool there are several quirks to these tools the only thing you should really be concerned with in this case I want to select <clears throat> I would like to select everything. Everything that needs an outline. I want to give all its red outline again. I also very specifically use this palette 
for the purpose of making this character easy to deal with in editing, easy to deal with in everything that I can think of. And the thing about the, ma the magic wand tool is you get an outline around the things that have been selected. So even from this distance, even from the zoom level, I can click and I can see the things that got added. If I zoom in, I'm like, oh, this is darker. Shift, left click. Shift, left click, left click. You you do this, you see that things seem to be selected. Uh, there's some gaps here, so shift, left click. I selected everything that's white, this gray, that gray, that gray, the darker gray, and this whole tile is selected. As far as I'm concerned, in the grand scheme of this exercise, uh, it looks it looks like everything has been picked, but even in this playback window and even here, you can see that there's still some colors that are missing. And you're going to want to shift, left click, and it adds it to the selection. Your whole world is better. Nothing is unimproved. Um, who would win? A 265-pound male or a little bit of brown juice? Brown juice. I know that answer. Anyway, so we see this as it is. We see that we have all the pixels that we want selected. There are some yellow pixels. I don't want those selected. Great. Now the beauty... <clears throat> brown juice. The beauty of having something selected means you can press S for the selection tool. And now, very importantly, you can drag the selection around. To make an easy outline for something after you've gone through this whole process of wanding something, if you just want a singular outline pixel, so same concepts, different tool, select, drag up one pixel, press F for fill. Pick the color that you want for an outline, make sure contiguous are off, and restrict the tiles off in the upper left hand corner, and just fill fill the empty tile. Press select, drag down, drag left. One pixel, not left and down, just left. Press F, fill. Press S for select, drag right, M, drag right one pixel. Now you're back to neutral. Drag down a singular pixel, press F, fill, S for select, back to neutral. So, ahem, I'm going to blame eye hand coordination among other things. But, so you see the selection volume. The selection volume is universal across the board. Everything that's had those colors, everything that has had that instance of, um, On brain. I'm not editing this, by the way. This is going up as raw as possible. As long as I don't say something like really, really stupid. Including the burps. But the selection is relative. Select, S, drag. Doesn't matter where it is. All of the tiles, as long as you're dragging in the selected area, are moving the exact same way and in a very predictable way. So, you zoom in here, drag right one pixel, drag right one more pixel. What you're effectively doing is adding a singular pixel outline, and it took me so long to figure this bullshit out that now that it's here, and now that I know how to do it, it it's, it's actually sped up my whole process tenfold when I want to make a an outline for anything. So I've gone left one pixel, gone up one pixel, I've gone down one pixel, and you can see I've gone right one pixel. Now that it's done, control D, and just look at your work. You can see this uh, this preview run as it's going, nonstop, because that rat just doesn't fucking quit. Um, he's doing his thing. You can see that the outline is working. You can see the outline isn't doing anything that you didn't predict. Now, this death animation here, I kind of decimated one frame that, um, what would you say? 
it it just um, it was this, but it was all red, and I deleted all the red, which makes this animation destroyed. I'm gonna fix it while I'm here, even though I'm not gonna save this file, which is very important because this is a working file for uh, for a game. Uh, restrict tile is on. Contiguous, I turn it on like a like a Dumbo. Contiguous is off. Restricted tiles on. So only the grays that match the color that I clicked are being affected. Grays, grays, whites. Actually, no. I'm gonna keep the white where it is. No, destroy it. And even still, sorry. I press W for wand and restrict the tiles off. You'll see that I actually selected all the fucking red in the area. Control D, deselect, W for wand, restrict the tiles on. So originally I had selected this color, cut, paste, and dragged it up in the rat death animation. And you can see that it was really just to add a little bit of texture to what was going on. Uh, this isn't uh, this isn't a perfect rep representation of what I was doing. In fact, I could just load the fucking file up again and stop being a turd monkey and, <laughs> and let it speak for itself. But this is essentially this is essentially the animation. Let me just reload recent documents. Rat. There we go. And death. Yeah, I I did do some edits. That just made it a little more palatable for for what it was. Moved it up, took the outline uh, exaggeration. Is that the word? Who knows? Took the exaggeration off, and that's the result down here. So the wand tool, in a nutshell, is a very very quick editing, masking, and uh, just general purpose tool that makes all this process way more easy, especially if you're working with a restricted palette and uh, let's say 100 animations that have the exact same palette. If you want to make one change to a color, it's easier to go with a fill tool, turn restricted tile off, turn contiguous off. You can change the colors across the board. So, I mean, let's say I want this run right to be blue. Well, now, dang it, every single, every single color is now blue. That contiguous button is as important for the magic wand as it is for the fill tool. That's pretty much what that means. But, control Z, control Y, control Z undo, control Y redo. Those two things in conjunction, along with Control D for deselect, makes the tool easier to use across the board. If I selected it, then I was like, oh no, I didn't want to select this gray color right here. Then, if I had to select the selection tool, select something else, and then wonder why my draw tool was was freaking out because I had a single pixel selected by accident, that's different. Control D after making a selection you didn't want is faster than undo but in the same heartbeat it's as much a um, it's as much a convenience as it is anything else so that being said the wand tool and selection tool for this process is as important as being able to draw the thing you want to draw it's a very quick way to understand what contiguous means what contiguous and the tile that you're working in means right up here so, uh, I, okay, good, my mouse is visible. Sorry. If my mouse wasn't visible, this would be... What's the word? Stupid. Anywho, uh, I think that does it for pixel edit and the current moment in time. I think I'm going to do an entire video on one tool at a time just because there is so much that you can say about any given tool of this program. It's one of my favorites for speed and consistency, and not just because it allows me to do all these different animations, and all these different animations, to be fair, 
they're um, they're easy to separate and they're easy to deal with or easy to manage but I've also been working on a what would you call it a uh, sort of cinematic piece and having it all be one animation ends up being really easy when I can break down simple parts into just one animation or the other but pixel edit <clears throat> pixel edit p-y-x-e-l edit it's nine dollars and it's still in beta really give it a go it has it has made an entire game for me whoever's watching this good luck have fun draw stuff be happy there's nothing else that I could ask from you there's nothing else that you could ask from you and to answer the question is brown juice not made of brown it's made of a different substance entirely anyway have a good night have a good day have a good afternoon I don't care where you are. Draw shit. Be happy.